Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I'm here with the Mini First Make It Mini Birthday Series 1. This looks so cool. I have two of these to open up with you guys today. And you can see a little preview here. We've got like a little rainbow birthday theme going on. And then up here, I think that's... I can't quite tell. It looks like dinosaur theme. This one... Uh, that's the rainbow theme. This one I can't quite tell. It looks like some kind of fruit, maybe watermelon or something. But there are 12 to make and collect across this series. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm very excited to see the checklist. Um, and I want to see this wrapping underneath so we can see some of the ones that there are to collect. I'm so excited. Alright. First layer off. So we have this cute layer, there's pinatas, there's, I think it's a drink, cookies maybe, ice cream, lots of fun stuff. And then we have a pink capsule, that's fun. Alright, let me see, where's the tear strip? I am just so hyped to see the checklist to be quite honest. <laughs> Alright, let's get this open. Alright, we have our, it's the classic style capsule with pink on the bottom. And then, oh, we have a mold. Stop. <gasps> okay, wait. I don't want to look at it yet. I want to look at the uh, checklist first. Okay. So we have our, oh my goodness. So you can see they're different colors. So that all goes with that theme, right? So all of the pink goes with the rainbow theme. All of the yellow goes with the fruit theme. And all of the blue goes with the dino theme. Are you serious? This is the cutest ever. Okay, so we have in the pink theme, we've got the rainbow cake, the ice cream tarts, the rainbow shakes, and the rainbow pinata. Then we have in the fruit theme, watermelon cupcakes, tropical drinks, pineapple donuts, and watermelon pinata. Then in the blue category, we have the fossil donuts, s'mores, dirt cups, Aww. dino cake, and dino pinata. I can't even choose a favorite. Like, I want all of these. I am a huge fan of the uh, fruit stuff, so that's probably the theme I want the most. Most, to collect the most. All right, and then let's see what we have here. It, oh, <laughs> sorry, I started freaking out a little bit because it's a, it's a pinata, it's a watermelon. Stop! Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's our table. It's a cute table. I love how it's uh, translucent. So we've got um, a yellow leg, and then this pink top. Oh my gosh. We have a mold, you guys. This is like a little, oh my gosh. So I guess this is how we make the candies for the pinata. So there's strawberry, there's watermelon, and there's cherry. Stop. And then of course the pinata tissue. So I'm curious how that's gonna go. I have to read the instructions. <gasps> These are party bags. I didn't even notice that there were party bags to put your candy in for when you, oh. I just wanna get one out. There are four. This one, oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a little paper bag to put your candies in and it has monstera leaves on it. Okay. Well, I don't know how this could get in the pewter. Let's see. We have wrappers, I guess, for our candies. Okay, that's cool. I kind of want to leave my candies just plain, though. It kind of looks like they're white wrappers. So, like, I don't know. We'll see. And then we have oh, sanding sugar so we can make them into sour candies. Oh my gosh. Or like, they'll look like sour candies or just sugar-coated candies. We have a spatula. We have our usual materials in here. We have this for the capsule and just the tweezers. And then this is our resin. We have two different kinds here. We have the gummy syrup. Oh my gosh. We have the food dye. So this is green. I'm assuming we get to do like multicolored one. That's going to be interesting. And then we have the two little nozzles. All right. And then, man, there's so much stuff in these. All right. We have the watermelon pinata. So this is what it looks like when you first get it. It doesn't look very pinata-like. We have the string to be able to hang it. And then I'm guessing these are like the little doors. I don't know. Did they come open? Oh, it looks like they come open over here. Hold on. There we go. So that's how you load it up with your candies and how you can make it pop open. You can't really like hit it and then it'll pop open, but uh, <laughs> you could fill it up maybe and kind of like loosely shut it. I don't know. Anyway, we need to check out the instructions. Uh, we did get the 
mm, right here. There's a lot going on here. But basically we go ahead and fill up our um, a resin or our molds, cure that, and then we coat them in sanding sugar and then we wrap them and then we put them in the pinata. So maybe I'm thinking what we'll do is we will do the candies in the mold and then we'll make the pinata and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, let me uh, move the camera down just a little bit so you guys can see. All right, I'll do it. Should I do it on the table? No, I'll just do it on the, on the ground. Okay, so for the, the syrups and stuff, this is going to be interesting. I'm gonna have to try to get them just right because we have the green as well as the red and we want to not have them blend too much. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so let's get this green open. There we go. And then where's the, there's the nozzle. These smaller bottles are hard to squeeze, but we'll try our best. Okay, so I'm gonna just lay this down. You guys probably won't get the best view, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fill up the strawberry. Maybe I should do it at the same time. I just don't know, cause it's gonna run. Let me see. What if I did this? Okay, so it's like I fill it up mostly for those. And then we come through with this, like that maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Kind of, kind of works. Maybe? I think it kind of works. I'm worried that there's gonna be air bubbles at the bottom there, but we'll see. I have a lighter I could definitely work with. All right, um, I'm gonna put the green in for the cherries. Like I said, this, this, these smaller bottles are harder to get the resin out of. Okay, let me uh, set this sideways and then let's try to get the cherries filled up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's air bubbles like crazy in these, so I'm going to need to pop them before they cure, hopefully. And then let's get this. I don't know how we're going to do the watermelon because <laughs> that one has the green at the bottom. Let's try it, though. Um, kind of, kind of counts, right? They're not going to be perfect. All right, and then let's fill up the top here. There we go. I don't know, maybe I should have did the red first. It's fine, everything's fine. It's fine, it looks good from the back. I don't know about from the front. We have the candies secured, and I think I'll get, um, I have to pop the air bubbles and stuff, but I'll put this over here. I have a little lamp, a little, a little lamp to cure our candies, our resin, so. We'll uh, get that done. All right, I'm just putting it over here. You guys can't see it, it's just out of frame. I popped the air bubbles as best I could and we're gonna move on to the pinata. I'm gonna set these aside because I probably will make more of the gummy candies a little bit later. Okay, so we've got the tissue paper for the pinata to actually make the pinata look like a pinata. Does it actually give us instructions? It probably does. I don't know if there's like a tear strip thing here or what. I think I'm just gonna cut it. I gotta be super careful though. Don't wanna cut anything important. Okay, let's see. And here we go. Oh my gosh, there's like seeds and everything. This is crazy cool. All right, let's get, this is super like in here. Hold on. There we go. Oh, this is so cool. So it's basically a sticker you just stick on, but it's like, you know, textured to be pinata paper. Like, stop, this is the cutest. I love how we can also do this as an activity. I thought for sure this would just come as a pinata, so I'm very happily surprised that we get to do this activity ourselves. All right, so I just need to remove this backing paper. There we go. So we have our sticker, and then I'm gonna close this up. We're gonna place this on here. I'm not the best at putting stickers on, but that doesn't look too bad. I love it. Sorry, it was kind of out of frame when I did that, but I was I was too focused on making it perfect. All right, let's get the backing off this next one. And then when these are on, you can definitely ruffle them up a little bit so you can so it looks like they are more papery. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So if you ruffle it up a little bit, oh, I don't want to do it too much, but you can see you can get it to 
look a little more pinata like we do have ones to go around the sides hold on here they are these ones so let me just kind of figure this out i think it whoop it goes to the flat side we'll go here and then this will go up here near the loop so we're gonna we're gonna try this we're gonna see how this goes my cat's trying to jump up here right now so if you see her <laughs> she's gonna take up the whole spot if she jumps up here hopefully she won't all right um this is this one's on here hold on we're having technical difficulties the candies are looking good over there i don't think they'll take too long to cure because they are fairly small we definitely want them to oh my gosh come on we definitely want them to be fully cured though oh my gosh this is crazy what the heck also i'm wondering about the sanding sugar like how are we i guess we're gonna have to coat them in resin again or actually how are we supposed to do that maybe we will be coating them in resin again all right i'm about to like give up on these sides i can't get them i wish there wasn't an easy peel honestly to be completely honest because I don't have fingernails to do this. I cut my fingernails because I am constantly working with animals and farm stuff. So, garden stuff, I should say. Alright, I think I might have got it. I might have got it. I think, Oh gosh, I dropped something. Was it the tweezers? I dropped it right into the trash can, whatever it was. Okay, I think we got it. Oh, yes. Ah, there we go. It's a little messed up on the side now, but that's okay. All right, and then let's go ahead and line it up here. And then it loops up here and it'll tuck up in here. All right, that wasn't the smoothest. <laughs> also, I'm definitely like chipping off all of these green pieces. That was just me trying to get it off of the paper. All right, let's try this other one. Should I start with the, the, the little tool to help me? Probably, I don't know though. Is it gonna help? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Wow, that is very helpful actually. So pro tip, if you don't have fingernails to really get this off, screwdriver works. Okay, and these are super sticky too, so I have no doubt. Also, should I put it on the hinge? I don't think I should. Mm, let me just put it just above the hinge maybe. All right, let's go with that. I think it's a little off, but oh well. And then, ah, uh-oh, I think it might be too much. Hold on. <laughs> oh well, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. It really covers it up well. All right, look at that, that stop it, it's so cute. All right, now we have to put the seeds on. Honestly, you have to put them on individually. I wish they came in <laughs> a single sheet. All right, let's, let's think about this. They go like this, so, and there's, a quite a few of them let's see do we only have one sticker sheet for like one side maybe yeah I guess so all right so I'll go ahead and put oh no it's like sideways it's fine it's fine nobody will notice maybe possibly potentially all right put that next one on and then we'll put another one on and then we have two more surely there's more for the other side somewhere right Surely, I, thought, I mean, there wouldn't just be one side. Maybe there would be, I don't know. All right, the seed placement is definitely subpar. It is not great. <laughs> look at it, oh my gosh, it's not great. All right, we're not gonna look at that. I'm gonna get rid of all of these extra papers and maybe start looking for, ah, here it is. This is it, yes, okay. I Like I said, I really wish I could just put it on like this. All right, we're gonna try this again. All right, can I, maybe if I, I do this a different way, let's see. So we'd want it facing down. Oh my gosh, how did I seriously do like the same angle? <laughs> I'm not good at putting stickers on things for some reason. Oh my gosh, it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Nobody will even notice. It's a pinata, it's a little wonky. No pinata is perfect. that on there. Yeah, these seeds are definitely weird. <laughs> oh man. And then one more seed. 
The problem is you're sticking it on the pinata paper, so it's not like you can peel it off easily, you know? Anyway, it's cute if you don't look at it too much. <laughs> All right, and then that brings us to see if our candies are done. Um, they do seem like they're done, but also not. Um, I'm gonna wait. While we wait for the candies to cure, I am going to open up our next one. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh man, as long as it's not a duplicate, you know, because I mean, if it is a duplicate, that's not even a terrible thing because I do love them so much and like having multiple bags and multiple, I mean, I wouldn't need another candy mold, but definitely more resin would be fun. But anyway, let's see what we have. So again, we're seeing whoop, the pink, I think the pink capsule is going to be like all throughout the series. I don't think it's going to change her, like which one you get inside. So. Oh, we have a different one because we have a different table. That is great news. Is it a dino one? Ah, I think it's the dirt cups. <sighs> okay, here's our table. It's just a solid blue table with a green leg. Really cute. And then we have some cups, some like mugs, mason jar looking mugs. We have, let's see, this is the marshmallow fluff. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. This will probably be like our spoons. Yes, we have, of course we have the tweezers and stuff, but we also have these like dirt colored spoons. Okay, and then what is this? We've got the cocoa mix. We have, ooh, mason jar kit. So it looks like we have bows, a little bit. Oh, okay, we have like, oh, we'll be able to tie it together. I see, interesting. And then, and I love the tissue paper, by the way. It's a little dino. You could totally save this. I wonder, is there a, where did my checklist go? I lost it. Well, here's a new one. But I'm wondering if there's bags for the dinosaur. Oh, there is. So if you get like the dinosaur pinata one, you can use this tissue paper for it. Stop. Oh, that's so cute. Anyway. This is all we got here, the s'mores dirt cups. And then this is our instruction right here. So one, two, three, five, wait, oh, four, five. And then we wrap it up after it cures. So, and we have to cure it in layers, it seems like. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. In this bag, we had the graham cracker crumbs and the chocolate bar. All right. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. So let's get, what is it? What is that first layer? Is it... I think it's, um, I lost it. Where'd it go? It's graham cracker? No. Is it, it I really don't know. Is it the, it's either going to be the cocoa mix. I'm guessing it's the cocoa mix. I really don't know. <laughs> it's not very, like, it doesn't tell us. So I'm going to guess cocoa mix, resin, graham crackers, resin, and chocolate bar. Sure. Let's go with that. Okay, so let's open up this cocoa mix. Don't know what that's gonna be. Okay, it's like a cocoa, it literally looks like cocoa powder. Should I use this spoon to scoop it out? I feel like I should. I feel like I'm gonna make a mess. Let me put this paper down. Not that that's gonna give us much protection, but all right, let's do like a couple scoops here. All right, and then that's the bottom. I do want a nice thick layer on the bottom. I mean, I could use all of it because we only have two glasses here. Let's see. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just going to use all of it, and I managed to make a mess anyway, so that's cool. Let me get the rest of this out and into this jar, and then some more in this jar. All right. I used all the cocoa mix. I did make a mess. <laughs> it's fine. I'll clean it up. So I'm going to tap these a little bit to make them a little even, and then there we go. So next we put in the marshmallow fluff, I believe, right? Yeah, because that would be the next resin. Okay. So, I don't want to use the spoon, though, because we already, we have, we can tie the spoon on later, so. I mean, I know I could rinse it off or whatever, but, all right, I'm going to just, uh, okay, that didn't go as planned at all. <laughs> Um, cool. That just hit all of the sides. Am I doing this wrong? Like, we don't have a good way to put it in there. I mean, the spoon, but we're also going to hit the sides. This is where, like, a squirty top kind of thing would have worked better. Okay, let me try this again. Maybe if I... 
I need a lot of this actually for multiple layers, so I don't want to go too crazy on it. All right, can I just stick it in here? No, because it's going to stick to the cocoa powder. Okay, I don't love this one anymore. <laughs> Should I be mixing it with the cocoa powder? I don't even know anymore. I'm going to mix this one with the cocoa powder. And clearly, I'm going to have to scrape the sides. This is not going well. I feel like I'm doing this wrong, but the instructions clearly state <laughs> what to do, and I'm pretty sure I'm following instructions. All right, cocoa powder, and then we have the chocolate bar, we have the graham cracker crumbs. There are no other ingredients that we could possibly be using right now. So I'm gonna use this spatula. This one's kind of a fail, so we're just gonna have to make do, but I'm gonna try to get this one into layers. But like I said, we need a lot of this for the multiple layers because we need two layers of this marshmallow fluff. All right, so we're just gonna do that. <laughs> There's literally none on this side. I mean, if I just smear it on the glass, it should work, right? Like, just give it the illusion that there is a layer of marshmallow fluff. Okay, well, I got this one, like I said, it's a fail. I think maybe, oh yeah, I could scrape it off. Okay, this is actually good, this is good. Uh, let me, let me clean it off. Which, by the way, just throwing it back to the other one. This one also came with paper, so this will be good for the little gift bags. That was for the watermelon pinata one. But anyway, I'm gonna scrape all of this off. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> We had a little bit of a fail, and this is how we're going to fix it. Okay. We'll keep the chocolate layer, I hope. Just get all of this top stuff off. All right. So, there we have it. That is... <laughs> we're going to have to paint a little bit of this on to give it the illusion of marshmallow fluff, though. Just, like, right on the jar, like that. Yeah, that's as best as we could do. Oh no, I got chocolate in that one. All right, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. I'm I'm calling it at that. So technically, now we're supposed to cure it, and then we will add in the 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 graham crackers. So let's open up the graham cracker crumbs, <laughs> uh, and then we'll also open up the chocolate bar. I'm hoping they should already be, yeah. There's three chocolate bars in here. We'll only probably need two. So next, um, like I said, this is the one, we're just gonna, it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and put the graham cracker crumbs in here, okay? So we've got, <laughs> got quite a few of them in here. Um, <laughs> this isn't going well. <laughs> This is the biggest fail ever. Did you guys, you remember, let's recall the photo of these. Look at that, like they're just so neat. This is not going well. Um, this is kind of like, this is, this is, this is a nightmare. <laughs> All right, so I cured this a little bit under the light and I'm gonna put in a lot of, this one's definitely on the way to being successful, honestly. Okay, and then we're gonna put in more, I think I might just give up on that other one. If we have one good one, I will take it. All right, let's put this this marshmallow fluff in here. And I'm going to kind of put it around the sides. Because we don't have enough for the other one anyway. So we're just doing what we can. All right. So good thing we get to cover up the top because this is not great. All right, that's, I guess, it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Um, this one, like I said, I'm gonna chalk it up to being a fail. I might just top it off with some, like, I think I might have some extra chocolate resin or something. So, I do. And I'm gonna grab it really quickly. I have, oops, sorry. I'll just do like this. <laughs> and we're gonna make like a, a, it's gonna be a milkshake type thing instead. Yes, that's, that's what we're going for. All right, I could do some more graham cracker crumbs at the top, like that, and maybe I'll even mix this a little bit, just, just because. <laughs> and then we'll add a couple more graham cracker crumbs at the top. 
It's 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 a it's a it's a concoction. Oh, I ran out of graham cracker crumbs. So this is our not great one. Anyway, <laughs> I gotta clean up my mess, but let's get rid of this stuff here. I'm just moving out of the way, and I'm sure the candies will be done. I need something to dust the candies in. Maybe I'll use this. This is what came with the um. I forget what it's called. Uh, the tweezers. So I lost the sanding sugar. Here it is. So we'll get some of this out and we'll pour it in here. Okay. We'll only probably do one at a time. And I need to figure out on the checklist how I'm supposed to do this. I think it doesn't, it doesn't even say, does it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It says to like add some resin and then to coat them that way. So this should be interesting. All right, um, how should I do this though? I feel like I need some kind of paper. I can use this to kind of like put them on afterward and then, or even use them for like dusting. I kind of want to use a clear, to be honest, instead of like the colored one since I did go to all that work to have them be nice colors. All right, then this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this for some clear resin, right? And then we'll dip them in here and then we'll put them in the sanding sugar. I definitely lost my tweezers though, so that's great. Here's a different pair I have off to the side though, so that'll work. All right, so we're gonna pop these out. Let's start with our, well, this is what they look like from the front. Look at that, that's cute. They turned out really well actually, except for this one, that one kind of blended, so maybe we do that one first for our sanding sugar one. All right, so we do have like a little bubble there, but that's okay. This is so cute. I don't know how well you can see it, but we're gonna just dip it in here in our resin, clear resin. So if you don't have clear resin, like extra resin or anything, there's it's totally fine. I cannot pick this up. Um, you just use that red and green that you got before. Why the heck is this stuck on here? Oh my gosh. Come on. All right, fine. I will drop you in here instead. All right, and then we will coat you in sanding sugar. Oh my gosh. And then we're going to put them on the paper to cure outside. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's like a little sour patch watermelon. Okay. This is cute. This is so cute. All right. I'm just going to do one sour one of each one of these and then the other ones will be regular. Pop up this cherry here. Look at it. Oh my gosh. You guys can't even really see them. They're so tiny. All right. We'll go ahead and get this one covered and then we will put it in the sanding sugar. All right, and then almost done. Just gonna put it on the plate now, or the cardboard. And then we'll do one more, which will be the strawberry. I'm trying to pick like the ones with the most air, bubble air bubbles just because it covers them up when you do the sanding sugar. Oh my gosh, this even has the little seeds. Oh, so cute. I know it's kind of hard to see when I show it to you, but I promise it's the cutest. And I just love that we have this mold now. You know, the molds are really great. I'm so happy we have those. Okay, we got our strawberry. And oh, look, a strawberry. <laughs> All right, uh, I am getting the other side here, and then we should be good to cure those. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of a gap there. But anyway, these are our coated ones. So I'm actually going to pop these ones out as well, just so that they do some more curing. Why not, right? And then we will return when those are cured, and then we will bring in the... <laughs> The drinks, or the, sorry, the s'more cup. The s'more cup that we love so much. <laughs> that was kind of a fail that we don't talk about. Um, we have our kit here, our mason jar kit. And it is the little bow, as well as these tags and this fabric. So we will put the fabric over top, like so. And then we... Take one of these bows, which I'm actually confused because if this is, oh, no, no, no. All right, so our tag will come off, right? So <laughs> this is so cool. So we have four tags. 
and then you go ahead and loop that on like that kind of probably near the front of the bow and then oops this is really cute if I wouldn't have failed with the uh, creation this would have been amazing and then we go ahead and kind of just pull up oh. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> hold on let me try it again go ahead and pull this around like so yep look at that there we have it and then you can um tie your spoon on here oh don't worry I will put that back on there we go and then I don't know how they recommend putting the spoon on does it say no so you could just like kind of tuck it in like that but that's our final creation we're not going to talk about the other one the other one's gone we don't we're not <laughs> we don't talk about her uh, but we do have her tags and everything still so back to the pinata this is again where you would load up your pinata and put your candies in there so we'll just uh give you an example put our non-sour ones in here and then you know you hit the pinata it would have been cute if it came with like a little bat or something and then out come the candies that's the cutest like stop it oh. and then you have the treat bags that you can fill the candy with like oh, that's so cool and then like i said the tissue paper can be used for that you can definitely cut this up to fit more um more bags additional bags because this is a lot for just one bag but that is your little thing this is yeah this is the monster one i thought it was the dinosaur one for a second <laughs> no we're good so yeah you fill your candy bag up and then you have your stuff ready to go and like i said you have the wrappers which is really cute but honestly i'd rather like look at the items that we have but this this is so fun and i want to get more party stuff i just wanted to give you a closer look at the little candies here the sand and sugar candies that was the cherries and then we have the watermelon i love these and then the strawberry look at that so cute. I'm obsessed with them. They're just the most adorable things ever. All right, and then I'm just going to put them up on the table, I guess, for now, so we can we can see them a little bit better. But those are all of our creations for today, uh, minus the disaster one, which shall not be named. <laughs> You'll have to let me know which of these sets, these themes, is your favorite. I'm going to go with... Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the watermelon one because that was so much fun. I love the other one. It was really cute, really fun, but I don't know. I feel like I got way more out of the the pinata one with the candies, with the activity of the pinata. It was just all so fun. But let me know your favorite in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.